We have the story on the two Macaulay students who posted a racially charged video online. They are no longer enrolled at the school. Macaulay would not clarify if the students were expelled. Liam Collins is live in the studio with the NAACP's reaction to this. Liam. Yeah, David, Cindy, the video contains several deeply offensive comments, including some that could be seen as threats. And so the president of Chattanooga's NAACP uh, branch has some concerns about how the school is going to handle the situation moving forward. The young man or the young men felt that it was acceptable to say what they said. So that tells me this is not the first time. Those young men are two Macaulay School students who posted a video filled with profanity and racially offensive comments. The videos made references to whips and crosses, raising images of the horrors of slavery and Jim Crow. Chattanooga NAACP President Ann Pierre says the video was deeply offensive. We're not any of those things. We are people that God made and put on this earth to reside with the other people. A Macaulay School spokesperson says the two students seen in the video are no longer enrolled at the school. The spokesperson would not clarify if they were expelled and would not share if any other students were disciplined. But what about the punishment for the other individuals who knew it occurred, did not say anything about it, and um, one brave person sent the information out because it was offensive to them. In a letter written to parents by head of school Lee Burns, he said, What was said on that video saddens and angers me in many ways, most especially for our black students. I am sorry for the pain and hurt it caused. There is no place at Macaulay for making comments that demean an individual based on race, religion, country, sexual orientation, ethnicity, or any other identity marker. Pierre says the video could be a learning moment used to teach students about the power of words and the importance of African American history. They might argue with me and say that they're doing that, but their product says that they're not doing that. Pierre says she has not spoken with anyone from this school. A spokesperson says they are not sharing any and for more information about the situation since the students involved are minors. David.